Paul, this week we've been telling you about the cruel and violent knockout game. The game? Well, young teens try to knock out a random victim with one brutal punch, sometimes even killing them. Phoebe Connolly was biking in Washington, D.C. recently when she was hit with a single punch. Luckily, she survived. Phoebe Connolly joins us. Nice to see you, Phoebe. So tell me, Phoebe, um, take me back. It was last Friday night. Tell me what happened. Uh, Friday night, I was biking home. It was just before 10 o'clock. And I was making my way up uh, 11th Street in Columbia Heights. And while I was biking up the hill, there was a group of teenagers who were on bikes about 50 meters or so ahead of me. And they made it to the top of the hill. And at that point, they stopped. And I continued biking my way up the hill. And when they stopped, the, about five of them pulled off to the side. Um, I was biking in the bike lane, and they were to the right-hand side of the bike lane. And there were two kids who were more in the center of the road. And as I made way, my way up to the group of them, uh, one of the boys who was in the group from the right-hand side biked across my path. Um, directly in front of me and then turned his bike so that we would be passing each other as he was going down the hill. Um, I said, excuse me, as I biked through the group and when we passed each other, he reached out with his left hand and punched me in the face. Um, I wasn't knocked off my bike. I continued biking as uh, the group of teenagers uh, just continued laughing and I made my way um, home after that. Did the person who hit you say anything to you? He did say well, pow as he punched me, but that was all that was said. Did you get a sense, get a sense that, that the group that was laughing as you were getting hit, did they see, were they definitely part, was he definitely part of this group? Uh, they seemed like a group of kids that were all together, yeah. And was this random in the sense that you hadn't earlier had any sort of confrontation? You hadn't run into them at all? This was just totally random as far as you know? I didn't know the kids. I'd never seen the kids. Um, I'm, I don't live in Columbia Heights. I actually am. I was in town for business. So it wasn't... When I come to Washington, D.C., I stay in Columbia Heights. But I had um, I biked up that hill before. But, I no, I'd never seen any of the kids before that I know of. After you were struck, did they try to flee? Or did, or did they just sort of hang out there and uh, as you left? Um, I didn't really pay attention to that. I just kept biking um, as I was. I didn't turn back. I didn't look. I didn't slow down. I didn't speed up. I just kind of continued on my course. Now, you, you didn't go to the hospital. Did you call the police right away? And if not, why did you wait? Um, no, I did not go to the hospital. I had only um, a minor bloody nose stopped a few minutes, a few minutes later. Um, I called the police when I got to the house that I was staying at, just the local police station, and reported what had happened. And they informed me that they would send a car to the area to check things out. Have you heard of any other random acts of violence there? Um, when I told some people about what had happened, uh, they told me to Google knockout game, which I did. Um, and the second news article that came up was an, an article um, that had been released that day about a woman in Columbia Heights on 14th Street who was walking at night and uh, was punched in the back of the head. And it sounded similar uh, to what had happened to me. And I read a second article the next day, which said that it was a group of teenagers. They were on bikes. They punched her and then laughed. And once I read that article, I called the police back again just to make sure that everything had been passed on from what I said the night before. And I spoke with an officer at that time who said in order to create a paper trail, the best way to do things would be to call 911, um, the emergency number. And I was a little bit hesitant to do that because I was raised being told by police officers that 911 is for emergencies only. 
and I didn't feel like it was an emergency and it was the next day. So I spoke uh, with that officer and they did say, they just, they told me to call 911, which I did. And they sent an officer um, to speak with me and I reported the incident and they also followed up with the detective. So. Phoebe, thank you. And uh, the good news is, is you're okay, but uh, thank you, Phoebe. Yeah, I mean, I really, I ultimately, I've, I've moved past it and I really have no hard feelings about what has happened. Um, and I just see it as another reason why we need to better support our youth with activities and youth programs, uh, which is actually what I do for work. And it's great to see teenagers do things when they're supported and empowered so yeah I, I tell you that 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 laughing though is rather distressing but I'm gonna take the last word on that because I have to go Phoebe thank you very much and of course on the record is tracking cases of the so-called knockout game as we share this list take a look at a few of the attacks caught on camera so you know what to look out for we have also confirmed thugs on the street in some places are calling these attacks polar bear hunting just this year, at least four knockout games attacks have resulted in death. In Syracuse, New York, a 70-year-old man was beaten to death outside a 7-Eleven. An 18-year-old was charged in that crime, also in Syracuse. A 51-year-old man beaten to death. A 13-year-old and 16-year-old both convicted and sentenced to 18 months in jail. And in Hoboken, New Jersey, a homeless man was beaten to death, police making three arrests, the suspects just 13 and 14 years old. And in St. Cloud, Minnesota, a business student was beaten to death while walking home with friends. An 18-year-old striking a plea deal in that case. He will be sentenced to 120 months in prison. On the record, we'll stay on this case for you, and we're going to bring you more information on this disturbing trend as it happens. <laughs>